Okay, back to my compression release drilling. So this is the one that I modified. This is the one that was done stock, and this is the one someone else did. So now I'm going to do an Evo head. So these are all twin cams. This is an Evo. So the spark plug is a different angle, a different location. The fins are different area. The cutouts underneath in here are in different areas. I did a bunch of measuring by probing. Probing means you go like this. You find a spot where it's going to cut through. You go like that and you see how deep it is. And you can do the same thing over here. See how deep it is. See this one's not as deep because the fins are shorter. You figure out where you're at and that one's going to be about that deep. So these are where the holes start at right here. So this one's right here. This close to the plug. This one's over here. It's this far away as the plug. So you have more of a gap. So we're going to continue with the rear and the rear. So this is marked front and rear and this is the rear head. We're going to use the rear mark. Now the problem we're going to run into is we're going to be cutting into the, the head bolt hole. So I'm not sure how the head bolt and the compression release are going to play with each other. See right here you got more of a gap. So they don't hit each other. But this one here, we got some issues. So I think you'd be able to, the compression release will clear, but the problem is, is the head bolt will not clear the socket. So I don't know if you can tighten the compression release up after the head bolt's in. On the early heads, there's a big thick spacer that goes in here. On the later heads, it goes down in the hole. So 92, they change. So I think the early motor is going to be a problem. The late motor might not be a problem, but we don't know until you try it. Just like I don't know where this hole is going to come through until we do it. So basically, I only got one head to play with. And this is it. So this is an 84 to 91 head. It's the only one I have. So we're going to either destroy this head or we're going to have a compression release in it. Don't know which one it's going to be. One way to find out. Do it. The tool is not made for Evos, so we're going to use it anyway. Alright, so let's see what happens. Get a collection of heads going here. Alright. So this is our cylinder head holding fixture over here. All the measurements I did, we should be very similar on heights and everything. So I think I'm safe here, but you really don't know until you do it. So all of this stuff is. Sure it's not moving. Yeah, it's pretty tight. You know, can see me better. Okay. One tool. Not made for Evos. Fits right on though. I got my external holding tool that they don't use that I made. Fits twin cams in Evo. Same hardware. Same bolt pattern. That's the way it fits. And the front one's here. through us not to redo these holes. I haven't done that yet. And there's our first interruption. Alright, we'll be back. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back here. A few hours later. Lots of interruptions. Okay, this is all ready to go. We can get this rest of this ready to go.
Okay, I'm not sure how deep this is gonna go in there. I'm gonna go in until it cleans up. So this is set for the Evo height right now, but I have no idea what I mean for the twin cam height. I don't know what kind of height we're gonna run for Evo. <coughs> so as far as I can tell, the Evo is the same height as the twin cam over there. On the height from here to here. So it should be very similar. The spark plug is a lot further in on the Evo, so I don't have to worry about the plug. But the head bolt is way closer, so we are going to have a problem with that. So it looks like it's going to be right on the edge of that thing. Yeah, it's closer than I thought it was going to be. So we're going to have an interference problem with the, with the compression release in the head bolt right now. Needs to be moved over this way. That's what needs to be done. Yeah. See, so compression release is going to be right there over the hole. Right here. It's lined up with the bit right there. The threads are going to be right on the inside of this hole. That's going to be deeper, but it's still going to be right there. This comes down to what head bolts you're going to have in the hole. <sighs> so we need to do is we need to move it over. So you can overlap the hole a little bit, spark plug hole. Right now, we're long, we're a long ways away from that plug hole right now. So, what are we going to do about this? <clears throat> this thing needs to be shifted over this way. Hey Scooby. Scooby's watching us tonight. More like sleeping tonight, not watching. Okay, somewhere over here. I have head bolts. Okay, let's rumble these. Okay, this is a late one. This is an early one. This has a big steel washer goes under. This would be no problem. The problem is most evils on this style, including SNS. No, SNS uses small ones, which are same as that other one. Spacers here. You just have to trim the spacer away to make room. So that'd be this one. This is probably an SNS one here a bit. Yep, there's an SNS. Okay, so if you use SNS head bolts, that takes care of our problem. So there you go. So if you do compression releases, you're probably going to upgrade the SNS head bolts. And then we don't have a problem because now we got plenty of room for the head bolt and the compression release. So they can occupy the same space right there. Versus this one here, it's probably going to be overlapping it a little bit or be right up next to it, I'm not sure. Like I said, until you poke the hole in, you don't know. But I got an S for an S, so I can do it. Otherwise, you'd have to offset this thing way over here. You have to redo the holes in this or something so you can shift it over. So I think we're just going to punch the hole and see what happens. What the hell? You knew to screw up a $200 head. 
Still, no big deal. Make it work or not. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. First thing I do is get it in our chuck. Leave a little bit of room in here for I can move a collar adjustment if I need to. Because I probably will have to do something. It doesn't work. Guess you're supposed to plug it in. There we go. That works. We need some oil. We got Scooby. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll be back. <laughs> 